Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. This season I've been playing some priest decks and I have to say I have been surprised by how effective priest decks can be. Overall looking at statistics, priest decks are doing like 51-52% at best, but they happen to be just the types of decks that I am very used to playing, so maybe that's why my results have been above average. For example, this big priest, I have had 80% win rate with this excellent deck for climbing, even all the way to legend, at least from my perspective. And yeah, big priest, it's just fun. You have Wanda Stormbike, Battlecry, if this costs less than every minion in your deck, reduce their cost by 3 and then you have a bunch of big minions. And those big minions, they are just going to keep coming back, because you have several other devout, you get the death rattle of every friend minion that died this game, you have Desolt, God of the Deep, resurrect a friend minion of each minion type. You can get so much armor, so much healing, so much board clears and boom. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're obviously always looking for your Wanda Stormpike, because you kind of want to discount all of your other minions. And then Palm Reading, discover a spell, reduce the cost of spells in your hand by one, another excellent card to keep in hand in every matchup. Then if you think you're going to be challenged on the board, if you need to be defensive, Holy Smite Hysteria, they can help you defend, they can help you survive. If you don't think you need to defend early, then you can try to mulligan harder for Wanda so that you can get actual pressure going. Because this priest deck is not a quest priest deck, so you don't have that inevitability of the purified shard, but you're going to overwhelm the opponent with big minions. Just one big minion after another to the board, and then there's Amulet of Undying, which can resurrect some of those death rattle minions, and Amulet of Undying, my main advice for that card is to keep trading it. You really want to improve it, resurrecting one minion is typically not enough, maybe against something real fast aggro and resurrecting a defensive taunt minion, maybe that will do, but in general you want to trade the amulet, you want to get two minions, maybe three minions out of it, so that you just keep clearing the board, then getting some big minions out there, and eventually you're going to have so many big minions that the opponent is going to just crumble. And I had some great games with this deck, so let's go take a look at Big Priest in action. Means it's not good enough to keep, right? I think it would take a while to climb the legend with a 10 times bonus. 10 times the second best bonus. It's like 100 games, maybe a little less. Depends on your win rate, of course. If you play top tier decks, maybe you can do it in like 80. Can you do it even quicker? I mean, you need 15 wins more than losses just from Diamond 5 to Legend. Let's say you can get to Diamond 5 in like 30 games. Then 100% win rate would be 45. I guess we're trading that. Oh, there's a Vandar. Can you suggest a deck that can all climb from diamond to legend is medium priced? Agro Shaman? Ace Hunter? Excellent decks. Acro Shaman with Lily Battler curse is not quite budget, but also really good. Both of those can be played to legend uh, fully as budget versions too. All right. It's Thunder time. So this Fell Demon Hunter, they have. They have Jace, and then they have the Kurtress, and the Kurtress OTK potential. Two cards that were kept and have not been played. Makes me think that they have at least Kurtress in hand already. So, unless I can get some good armor going or something, then they will just eventually have, a, have an OTK there. Which is going to be a bit of a problem. about this. this yep. Kurtress is coming next turn. Almost certainly. One of those cards has to be Kurtress. I can't see any reason why they wouldn't be. Insight's useful. And even corrupt it here. 
Well, I need Wave of Habit to handle the Coacher's minions. Maybe. What's your Rogue Spirit Guide? Well, that's handy. Light cannot exist without the dark. I also do give the Naru now. It's fine. Let's do a bit of healing. Hi, D. Strike me down and prepare for fell. It's a big demon hunter. Oh, wow. That was new. Awesome. The plot thickens. The path is clear. The are one. Right. A high prompt. Big demon hunter. Hmm. I didn't expect the Leather Inquisitor, I have to say. That was unexpected. That's a surprising amount of damage. Not bad. And don't hurt 13 hurts a little. Well, I obviously do have to kill them. Alright, I might lose this because of that Illidar Inquisitor faceless. Like this. Two taunt minions on the way. Alright, so. Soul Mirror leaves me with a pair of money demons. I think this calls for a Soul Mirror. I could also hit this one there. And I can Soul Mirror for cheaper. Then I can also play the Light Shower Elemental. The two are one. I can do it like this. It allows me to now Soul Mirror. And trade there. Play the Light Shower and renew. For Shadow Word Death. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> that sounds like the opposite of fun. Shorts incoming. I only make shorts when RNG is bad for me, right? I might make, we might make a short out of that. It's possible. This is an actual warrior, by the way. Look at that. That's the quest. I'm a little scared, because that's like a real deck. We're playing against an actual deck here. We might need the AoE. It's tiny AoE though. If they play the Captain next turn, I could Holy Smite the Captain. Maybe I'll hold back the Holy Smite a little here. Is Nezot worth crafting? No, this deck is not worth crafting. Six cost. Not available yet. 
Six cost not available yet. We need to chill here and hope they don't have us out, Sea Captain. They're going to add more cards to core pool. There is potentially a core, core change as well, yes. So... Let's say I want to Hysteria something. What is it that I want to Hysteria? Hysteria on this. It's over here, it's over there, dies. Is it one health? Hysteria here, it's over here, it's over here, dies. Or it's over here, it's over there, dies. No way to get a full clear with Hysteria. I can also do Hysteria Condemn. That's totally acceptable. Condemn to kill that. I'm just going to trade that in again. This is fine. I have a more Porch Fiend coming next turn. But I can do that with the Holy Smite. This, this is like the point. Saving all this Holy Smite. This Holy Smite has been saved for that Salt Sea Captain this whole time. Now I can Holy Smite the Captain. Okay. Rokara is probably coming in two turns, though, so... It could be better. They might actually be able to kill the Moark, if they have Shiva the Timbers in hand now. Rokara is coming next turn, okay. They killed it and... Gift of the Naru? Probably. The Moarg. Maybe it's Renew and Spirit Guide. Draw more cards. But next turn I need to Hysteria, right? Not necessarily. We'll try this. They will want to play Rokara here, because they want to get the Juggernaut going. And that leaves only two more mana. So they don't necessarily get to do anything else. This is vulnerable to Shivate Timbers. Alright, well this looks good now. Newton is a little late to the party. But we get to do this. And we get to kill the Rokara. And now we have a taunt within the taunt. Alright, they rolled a Gorhal. And they rolled a Mr. Smite. That's a little scary. That's a little scary double roll. Gore Hull plus Mr. Smite. I don't think it's going to be enough, right? But it's a little scary. That's a good roll. It was 15 damage to the face. Very good roll. But... I'm not intimidated. There's like two friendly Death Rattle minions. I have had some pretty sweet Death Rattle minions around. I can Holy Smite this Smite. Then I have 8 mana remaining. 
I would have enough to play a Morwarg. We'll try this. Blacksmithing hammer. Not a bad weapon. Not a bad weapon this turn either. Very impressive stuff. Very impressive. Need to do the resurrections now. Hopefully, I get some more wargs. I got one. Can I now mute Anus? Do they have a minion in hand? Or is that another spell? I'm behind two taunts. I can try mute Anus and see if they have a minion in hand. They did have a minion in hand, but now they don't. Okay. Another blacksmithing hammer. So three weapons. Gore, Howl and two blacksmithing hammers have been rolled. Not bad, not bad. But I should be fine. All right. It's it's all good. It's all good. It's all fine. Gore how a couple of blacksmithing hammers. That's just not enough. Story. Can't even draw a card with that. OG be the real deck. Apparently I did. I'm as surprised as you are. Alright. Shaman. Golden card back so it's probably Bolner OTK. <laughs> oh, Jack used to say that. <laughs> yeah. But good plays are good plays. It's quest. Alright. Well, quest shaman has enough burst damage to just kill me, right? Probably. Point ferals. Because why not? Yeah. Would attack minions. Hmm. They have some odd attack minions in that deck. Maybe it's just a devouring plague though. Let's just grab that. Good stuff, good stuff. Two damage, but Ooh, Vandar. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to play Vandar. We're going to play Vandar when it arrives. We should still have enough time. It can just be traded. I can condemn now, right? Kills the spell damage, puts these to one health each. I want to trade the amulet. I will not have any mana left to heal. I will just condemn. I just will renew my face here. More devouring plagues. And we can do those. 
a little later. Let's chill for the time being. Felt like I needed to get rid of the spell damage minion there. And of course the frostbite effect. Guidance is a great card. They're really, really blowing through this. Oh no! This counts on everything. Really? Their hand is going to be so cheap. That's crazy. Their hand is so cheap. Alright. Well. I guess we do a little devouring plague here. Or up the inside and play it. Three cost more arg. I can trade that one too. Alright. That's one cheap hand. Stormcaller Brokan is coming out next turn. Not this turn, of course, because they're overloaded, but next turn. That's gonna happen. They might have devolving missiles in that deck. What's the most brain deck top the meta deck? And Quest Warrior, I guess. Followed by Libram Paladin. Let's just do another one of these now. I can heal up a little. I get to play the Mowark. I mean, they don't necessarily have the Devolving Missiles there. Not the Face Hunter. No. Face Hunter requires skill. I'm working on getting to that Brookhan. I have this need to actually kill the Brokan, but then they still have the double spells coming after that. <laughs> One cool Gepakuhul. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate the support. It's rocket time. Pew, 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 pew. They have a lot of stuff left. Spells are now being doubled. The only upside is that this turn they only have 4 mana. But like if they have charged calls, those can get really scary. Oh, that's a good one. Ho 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 ho! Here we go. Here we go. Still a chance of devolving missiles too. We'll see. Try to jam some stuff on this board and ho hope. But it can be difficult. That's only one charge call played so far. There's still more to come. At least guidances have been spent and lightning bolts. So maybe they don't have the direct damage to just kill me. Then it would start to depend on getting those devolving missiles. Are there two copies of that in the deck? Some lists don't even run it, but I think they do. And windchills are good at drawing cards. I still have that hysteria left. And that's the second charged call.
Are we actually going to survive this? Both charge scores have been played now. Both guidances have been played. Condemning into hysteria. I have to try that. Condemning into hysteria. Fine outcome. I'm undead, not dead, dead. All right. So I've survived the charged calls. But then there's going to be the instructor. Instructor Fireheart is going to be there. That's going to give a lot of new spells. Potentially lethal quantities. I have not had any spirit guides. The storm is in me. All right. Mutinous looks kind of fun. Because what do they have left? They have a multicaster, rustered viper. Instructor Fireheart. On the other hand, maybe I just need to play an assault here. They can have so many devolving missiles. That's 16 damage, so I'm a little worried about that too. I think I have to try to eat the Fireheart. I only ate a multicaster. That might not be enough. But we didn't get the Fireheart. They had Fireheart left. Yeah, things can happen. They might have two copies of Devolving Missiles left. That's still possible. Not a lot of other random stuff, right? I still have Xerella in my deck. Next turn we're trying Nezoth. I'm not dying from 46 here. I could die in two turns. Especially because I failed to failed to pull the fire heart. I think I needed to pull that. Oh. Rush me with silence. Now oh, they might even kill the mutinous. I'm surprised they didn't kill the mutinous there. Oh, mutinous kills that. Holy Smite kills the damage minion. And then we tried the Nessalt. They should have devolving missiles left, and devolving missiles is going to cast twice. So they can have like four copies of devolving missiles coming. And there's the Fireheart. This is the card that I was trying to eat with the Mutinous. Because it's their last best hope for a random solution to the game. Let's see. Okay. Oh no, they were able to randomly generate the guidance. I was it's not behind us. Yeah, that, that's the power of guidance. Right there. Something that I had hoped would be gone, but wasn't. So, they have a Guidance card left. They have an Overdraft. They have one Frostbite left. I'm in a position where I start to need that, that Serial Lock draw. I think I will have to Hysteria this one. Get rid of that spell damage there. Oh, 
I'm not sure what they have left. But we're about to see. One guidance card is there. One total random thing. Oh, it gives them two spell damage minions. Ouch. Then we really need Cirilla. I mean, one in twelve. That one I knew about. Cyril top deck wins the game here. Other than that, not so much. Palm reading might do something, amulet might do something. We'll see. Well. That's the top deck I was looking for. An Undying Disciple has died. Which means that this board is going to get wiped. What they have left is three spell damage minions. Well, four spell damage minions. It's not actually completely certain that I can win with this. Because there's four minions coming. One overdraft. Oh yeah, and Brokhan of the Elements too. They're going to summon the Elementals and deal damage to face, right? Yes, Cyril always starts with the healing. And then the second turn is always the second turn is always the damage. Oh, they got the stealth minion there. Do I just want to trade this or do I want to resurrect two friendly death rattle minions? Oh boy, these questions. I think I'm getting something better by trading. I'm beginning to think that they don't run devolving missiles. But I am at 58. Right now. We did it. The shaman is dead. That took quite a, quite quite some work. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.